In this lesson, I'm going to introduce and explain a very simple method for determining whether demand for a particular good is elastic or inelastic between any two prices along a demand curve. This method is known as the total revenue test of price elasticity of demand. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to explain the total revenue test and then use it in the future to determine quickly whether demand for a good is elastic or inelastic between any two prices without actually having to calculate the PED coefficient. Before you complete this lesson, you should have watched the earlier lessons on price elasticity of demand, the formula, the interpretation of the coefficient, and the different determinants of PED. To guide us in our analysis today, we're going to be looking at the demand for ski lift tickets that we see here on the right. Notice that as the price falls from $140 per ticket to $0 per ticket, the quantity demanded increases from 0 lift tickets up to 7,000 lift tickets. Before we describe and explain what the total revenue test is, we need to introduce the concept of total revenue. So over here on the left, let's define what total revenue is and determine the simple formula for calculating the total revenue of businesses in a market. Total revenue, what is it first of all? You may not have heard the term revenue up to this point in your class. What you have heard though is incomes. So you know that income refers to the amount of money that households earn for providing their land, labor, and capital in the resource market. Well, if we think about what the incomes of businesses are, that's what total revenue is. So total revenue is business income, business income from the sale of their products. And total revenue has a very simple formula for determining the total revenue of businesses in the market for a particular good. And that is the price of the good times the quantity being sold. So at any level of output along a demand curve, we can easily find the total revenue earned by firms in that market by multiplying price by quantity. Let's do one quick example. For example, if ski resorts were charging $100 per lift ticket, they could expect to sell, as we see here, 2,000 lift tickets. So at a price of 100 and a quantity of 2,000, we can easily calculate total revenue by multiplying price 100 times quantity 2,000. So we could do 100 times 2,000, and that would give SKU Resorts a total revenue of 200,000 dollars in this case. So using that method, we are going to calculate the total revenues of ski resorts in this industry at each of the price quantity combinations along this linear demand curve. I'll clean this up and we can go ahead and determine our total revenue curve, which we're going to graph on the bottom here. Notice the values on the graph on the bottom. On the vertical axis, we're going to be plotting the total revenues of ski resorts at each of the quantities along the horizontal axis. So the Q-axis is the same as it is for our demand curve. We go from zero lift tickets to 7,000 lift tickets. What I need to do now is determine the revenues earned by ski resorts at each of the prices along our demand curve in the top. There are a couple points we can add to this total revenue curve very quickly and easily. Notice that at a price of $140, zero lift tickets are demanded. So the price times quantity will turn out to be zero there will be no revenues earned at a price of $140 per lift ticket. Likewise, at a price of $0, 7,000 lift tickets will be demanded. So we can put a point down here on our demand curve. And at this point, there will be zero revenues earned because the price of zero times 7,000 gives us a total revenue of zero. What we want to know is how do the business's total revenues change as price falls from $140 down to $0. To do that, we just need to do some simple calculations. So let's start at 140 and lower the price to 120 and determine what happens to the revenues of ski resorts as the price falls. At a price of $120, 1,000 lift tickets will be demanded. So ski resorts can expect to earn $120,000, putting a point right here on our total revenue curve. And say that this point on the demand curve corresponds with this point on the total revenue curve. As they lower their price to $100, they'll sell an additional 1,000 lift tickets, earning them $200,000 of revenues. 
So that brings us to this point on our total revenue curve, $200,000 at a price of $100 per ticket times 2,000 lift tickets. I'm gonna go quickly through the rest of the points along our total revenue curve, and I'll fast forward the video so we can get through that simple part of this lesson really quickly. plotted all the possible levels of total revenue that firms can earn by charging a range of prices from $140 per lift ticket down to $0 per lift ticket. If I connect these dots, then I will have what we call the total revenue curve. Let's do that now. This blue line is my total revenue curve. Let's look at that curve and try to draw some conclusions about what it tells us. What we can see is that at high prices, a decrease in price will increase total revenue. That's one conclusion we can draw about the relationship between price and total revenue. Now, what is the reason for this? As the price falls from $140 down to approximately $70, somewhere between 80 and 60, somewhere between 80 and 60, we expect total revenue to be maximized. In fact, we could actually calculate total revenue at $70 because we know that exactly 3,500 lift tickets would be demanded. So total revenue at $70 equals 70 times 3.5. Let's do that calculation. 70 times 3.5 gives us a total revenue of 245,000. So actually, this industry's revenues will actually be maximized at $245,000. That's right at that's right at a price of $70 and at a quantity of 3,500 lift tickets. So 245 thousand dollars is the maximum total revenue. Below a price of $70, however, the total revenues of ski resorts begin to fall. So let's put that over here on the left as well. So as price falls, total revenue is eventually maximized. Maximized but will decrease at lower prices. Mm -hmm. 